Hello everyone. Welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to look at newly released agents SDK by OpenAI. So OpenAI have released response APIs and agent SDKs to build or handle complex tasks, which, you know, which an agent has to do. So both single agent and multi agent. single agent for is through response APIs and multi agent workflows through uh, agents SDK. That's what we're going to look at, look into this video. So if you look at here on my screen, I'm currently on their open AI agents SDK documentation. I was going through it. You know, uh, I'm going to talk about that uh, in detail. Uh, you can find out that their documentations, uh, you know, how you can use it. Right now, this uh, SDK supports OpenAI compatible model, any model which is which is supported, you know, uh, via uh, OpenAI uh, based chat completions model. If you have, so it, you know, it will support. And uh, that's their GitHub repository. It's called OpenAI Agents Python. That's the agent SDK. Uh, which is a bit different than the responses API, which is for single uh, AI agent. Now that is something I'm not covering. I'm covering this uh, agents SDK. You know, in this, uh, I'll also talk about the logs that you can look at on the uh, playground. Okay, I'm in the dashboard. Uh, to be honest, now the, again, maybe you can say one more you know framework to work with. That's correct. Uh, you know, it, the, the feature of it that it's an uh, the, the design of this framework that the agent design right it's independent ai you need you know with instructions tools decision making authority and so on and so forth so it's it's really good you know i've tried it out it's faster as well if you if you compare that with some other frameworks this is a little little faster you know you, you can integrate functions api databases through tools uh web search rpa etc etc so that is that is like very evident in other frameworks as well but yeah this is this is the documentation uh, this is the github repo here you can find out the documentation you can see the agent sdk has a very small set of primitives agents which are llms equipped with instructions and tools so any large language model having you know instructions and access to multiple tools uh, and it follows a workflow can be called as an agent that has a behavior that has a goal you know and handoffs which allow agents to delegate to other agents. Like, you know, you have delegations. In other frameworks, it's called delegations, right? You, you delegate uh, and guardrails, which enables the inputs to agents to be validated, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, it has those safeguard functions for, you know, uh, uh, output checks, uh, explicit content verifications, policy compliance, input filtering, and so on and so forth. So that's what, you know, it's also provide. It also provides real-time monitoring and debugging. Very similar to how when you're working with other uh, agent frameworks, you have to work with uh, tools like uh, Langsmith or RDG AI Phoenix or Agent Ops or any other tools, right? But with Agent SDK, you can, uh, you probably don't need those tools, you know, because we can find all the logs over here. So if you look at here, we have the input and the output uh, of the logs. I mean, like interacting with it. So what I did, I, I cloned the repo. It's called, you can see it says OpenAI Agents Python. Uh, after cloning it, I uh, I did a few things. I will show you. So what I did, uh, I am using UV. So if you clone this repository, you just have to do git clone. So you just do git clone and you can see the repo here. That you can just do it. Now, once you do git clone, you go CD inside it. So just CD. And once you CD inside it, you just have to do UV. And then you create a VENV, a virtual environment. And in that, you can like activate that using uh, going into vnv scripts and then just do dot slash activate or if you depends on what kind of terminal you are using now once you do that we're gonna install you can also do, because it has pi project dot two ml so you can just do uv add you know uh all the requirements like hyphen r requirements if you also want to do that or you can also install through pip as well so once you do that now i'll give you a walkthrough of uh, some of the things over here so in the example folder they have you can find it out the examples they have a lot of good examples like uh research bot they have some handoffs you know the for delegations uh they have customer service example in the main.py so you can see some customer service like airline agent context uh you know it has some tools and the tools are defined as a decorator as you can see it says function tool 
and it's a lookup tool, FAQ lookup tool. Let me do an alt J so you can see it. Looks frequently asked questions and have an has an async function that has some very basic FAQ kind of a basic uh, question answers and stuff kind of a thing over here. And then the other function tool over here, you can see it for update seat for updating the seats. And then we have uh, seat booking handoff for delegations. And that's fine. That's fine. And then the agent. So you can see the agents which are defined: FAQ agent and the seat booking agent. It takes the recommended prompt prefix as an input variable and have a couple of uh, like has some instructions, names, handoffs, blah blah blah. And a tree as agent. Try as agent is similar. And then you just handoffs whatever agent you want to pass it next. You can see it over here. And then it, you can just run it. You know, as simple as that over here. Now, you need uh, you probably can use Olama models, or you need uh, you need some kind of API key. So if you haven't done that, you can set it through terminal as well. Like setting if you are on Windows PowerShell or terminal, you just do set. Okay, and then if you do export, you do export. Okay, anyway, I will refresh the keys. Uh, but this is how you can do it, or you can keep it in .env file. So I have kept it in a .env file over here that you can see. Now. Let me go to app.py. Here is a simple function tool. So if you look at here, it says a function tool that we have defined. Excuse me, I don't know why I enabled tab nine. Okay, anyway, I think I have to get rid of tab nine anymore. Uh, now here in the function tool, you can see we have a function called get underscore current underscore time. It imports date time and it gives you the system time. That's a simple tool. You don't need an LLM to do that. And then we have an assistant an agent that we have defined, it's called time assistant. It has an instruction. It says you are an assistant that tells you the current time and then just using this tool called get current time. That's how you can define it. And then I'm just using runner.run sync, this assistant and an input I'm giving. What time is it? Maybe let's say what time is it currently? Okay, and then you just print that. A very simple way how you can so all of these tools can be defined as a function underscore tool as a decorator and then you define the assistant and you can use handoff to do delegations if you want to pass the uh, output of one agent to the input of the next agent and so on and so forth that can be done through a delegation uh, delegation which is nothing but the handoffs over here so you can use handoffs uh, to do that but uh, let me just run this here now i'll just clean this up Gonna just do uv run uh, app.py. Now, when you do uv run app.py, you'll see it over here. Let me just uh, it takes a little bit of time. You can see open AI key is not set, it's keeping trace export, blah blah blah. It, it gives you the time, it says the current time is 11 20, 11 27 pm on March 12, 2025. That's what uh, the current date and time is right now. So, you can see how. How easy it is to define uh, these things. Now, uh, keep in mind, guys, this agent HDK is built on, for OpenAI models, you know, optimized for it. It's it's more like uh, it's very good if you are working with GPT models, you know, or, or such models because the, the framework has been optimized for such models. Uh, it doesn't mean that you can't use other frameworks like if you are using some uh, chain based frameworks like Langchain, or if you are using, you know, crew AI or Phi data and uh, so on and so forth, you can again use those things as well. You know, it's really lightweight, as you said, very primitive. You know, uh, you can see how easy it is to work on this smaller modules, uh, very lightweight uh, design and can be implemented with very minimal codes. So if you are someone who does not like to write a lot of code, you know, you can use this uh, HDK if you're working with OpenAI model. And it gives you the dashboard logging and monitoring over here. You can see that, right? Uh, if I refresh this up, you can see it says, I uh, did something. What time is it? Uh, and you can find it out over here, right? Uh, it takes a bit of time. It says, what time is it? Uh, uh, the current time is blah, blah, blah. Get current time, whatever, whatever model we are using, you can find it out here. So it makes it very easy for you to do uh, evals as well. If you're working with Langchain or any other base frameworks, you probably need either you Langsmith or you, you need your own logging right, if you don't do that. So that's what it is. Uh, let me go to customer service or maybe research bot. Now in the research bot, let me run that research bot over here. So when you run the research bot, it says, what would you like to research? For example, let's, let's ask some uh, maybe 
report on artificial general intelligence an adi kind of a thing right i say report on artificial general intelligence when i do that you know it says planning research you can see starting research and i'll give you a, probably a walk through of the code it uses google search and some web search and other tools that you know in the back end you can see we'll perform 15 searches you can see it over here it has the view trace if you click on that it will take you to the trace with an unique id and it will show you all the traces uh basically the logging thing of it you can see it thinking about a report blah 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 now in the research bot we have agents and we have uh, sample outputs. You can see it over here, some, some sample output, that's, that's fine. Uh, in this research bot, if I expand, you can find out all the agents. And in the agents, we have planner agent, we have search agent, and we have writer agent. You can see the writer agent, we have search agent. Uh, you know, in the web, the, it, you just web search tool, you can see we have planner agent. Uh, in this planner agent, it plans. Uh, you can see it over here and then we have main.py we have this manager you can see it over here that connects with this basically this is for logging thingy this is a, just like see this as a manager which runs this entire workflow uh we have this is fine you can just get rid of it so this is a research bot guys very simple isn't it so go to agents if you expand the tools it has computer huge you can see computer use but you can define your own uh, tools uh, over here as well uh, it has file search it has web search you can see this is the web searcher web search example here uh, over here and blah 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 right now in the tools so let's we go back to the output and you can find out some you can find out the output over here right it's it gives you the report on uh, report on artificial general intelligence uh very lengthy response by the way mm, over here and this looks good okay uh, i can just copy it till here it gives a follow-up question which is not required for not that's fine if i come here i'll go to the linger okay and in the linger i can just uh, show you here now you can see a report on artificial general intelligence if i just get rid of this here because that was the output now it gives you such a beautiful report on uh, agi over here you can see impact on healthcare and education economic and social transformation uh and global perspectives and regulatory efforts conclusion and references fantastic right i really like this guy okay. uh, i really like this i mean i can just download it as a pdf so for me to consume it later just like how we do with deep search on OpenAI. Of course, it has more access, but you know this is fantastic. Let me make it a bit bigger. So report on AGI, introduction, fundamentals, core capabilities. So it has adaptability. People say, you know, the agents of the future or the age, like when we build AGI systems, it will be more adaptable. Uh, you know, that may be true. It it can reason better. It can learn better from the uh, the environment, right? That that we human learns from other people and so on and so forth, right? So other people and uh, from from the entire atmosphere, right? That where we live in this atmosphere, we, we can like learn from almost everything. Like that's how these uh, this has been built. That's how human is different, you know, when it comes to machine because they have limited access. Uh, now, current state of AGI research, you can find out advanced language models. GPT-4 has been there. Uh, robotic systems and multimodal learning, innovative approaches in research. And this looks good, right? Uh, that's that's very good uh, in my view. So this is how you can do it. Uh, you can find out your logs over here. You know, they don't have a real-time refresh, though. I have to come and refresh it over here. But that's fine uh you can see here original query okay and it gives report and output and yeah this is this is how cool it is guys you know you can also like i saw you here in the app.py how you can create a simple function tool and you know assistant and then you can also whatever you build you know you can if you're building something in crew ai or phi data or swarm or anywhere right uh you can again use this to build that uh if you're using open ai compatible models so very recent thing by OpenAI, the agents SDK. Let me know if you have any questions.
you know, a feedback. I wanted to cover this for you so you can go through it and understand in detail. And if you have any thoughts, feedback, uh, let me know in the comment box. You can also reach out to me through my social media channels. Find those information on channel banner and channel about us. If you like the content, please hit the like icon. If you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please do subscribe the channel, guys. That motivates me to create more such videos in your future. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.